Hey guys, ay oh, yeah, yay, happy Friday. <laughs> Happy Friday, this is crazy. I actually shot this video a couple of weeks ago before like everything changed. I know everyone's watching this from a different uh, part of the country. Some of you have already gone through what we're going through here in America right now. It is, you know, pretty scary, really unnerving. We don't really know what's going on. All schools are shut down. The, you know, restaurants are closed, bars are closed, gyms. We're really not supposed to be leaving the house at all except for essential uh, items. So I was debating on not releasing a video at all because I'm like, who needs pearl heels right now? <laughs> but then I thought, if you guys are like me, you are home, I'm trying to keep yourself busy, and maybe a little escape would do you some good. So um, I hope you enjoy this video. I hope that wherever you are, you and your family and everybody is safe and you're taking care of yourselves and using this as so much needed time to just sort of connect with your family and maybe learn something new. So hopefully today's video will do that for you. Thanks for being here. Um, I love you guys and I hope you're all doing well. Let's get right into the rest of the video. Hey dudes, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. This is the DIY designer. For those of you that are new, my name is Orly Shani. And for those of you that are not, hey guys, how was your week? Thanks for being here. Um, I'm stoked on today's DIY because it's another heel, uh, shoe DIY actually. You can do this on flats or heels. I'm gonna be doing pearl encrusted heels. I originally saw a photo of these Jimmy Choo heels, which I really liked. They're obviously a super tall heel. They're used mainly for weddings and stuff like that. But I just thought the idea of covering an entire heel in the pearls would be really really fun today I'm gonna to be using beacons gem tack now you guys know beacon is the maker of fabri -Tac. that's the glue that I use anytime I'm doing a no sew project and I love it to death I have bottles after bottles after bottles in my little craft closet so that I never run out but gem tack is their glue to actually apply anything from beads to sequins to glitter um, to metal it comes out white which I actually really like. Um, it's kind of like a thick little white droplet that you can put on, but it will dry totally clear and it doesn't have a strong smell. So this is something I can do with my kids. So anytime that like Blake or Connor want me to add like crystals to their shirts or they wanna make something crazy, I can go in there and drop a bunch of glue and then they can drop the crystals on because it's totally non-toxic. That is it. Let's, uh, let's get right into it, man. Materials. <laughs> So you can see here are all of my pearls. I got all of them in the matching ivory tone. It's super important to make sure they match. Make sure that they are flat back and then just get a variety of sizes. It's gonna go a long way. Now this thing's called a magic picker or um, like a jewel picker. If you look it up, you should find some decent options. It's gonna allow you to move super, super fast anytime you're applying crystals or beads or anything like that. If it stops working at any point, it's because the rubber end actually got some dust on it that's getting in the way. So just put a little bit of scotch tape and kind of roll Roll that end back and forth it will remove any dust and you're good to go so when I first got started I was doing little dots of glue directly onto my shoe uh, because I was starting off with the bigger ones it probably would have made sense to do a straight line which you'll see I do in just a minute but because these particular pearls are my larger ones I don't need the jewel picker I can very easily pick them up press them on and lay them down now you can see I move on to just doing a straight line of glue at this point after I did the first 10 I realized that that was the best way to go and it definitely is because you're gonna be hiding any of that glue underneath this thicker row of pearls. You just wanna take your time and make sure that they're even. If when you get to the end, you have a little gap, while it's still wet is when you wanna kinda of slide and adjust and evenly distribute that gap amongst all of your pearls so that you don't even notice it. Make sure everything is laying straight and allow it to dry and you can move on to the next one. Now you can see because this T-strap or X-strap or whatever it's called goes underneath the top one, you don't need to actually go all the way because some of it's gonna be hidden, but you do wanna look at it from all angles to make sure that you don't see where you stop. If you can see that you're stopping, you need to add more pearls so that from all angles, it looks like it connects all the way through. For me, that meant leaving just about two undone and doing the rest. Now. What I'm doing here is adding the tiniest bit of glue so I can add these little pearls. This is one reason that I love the gem tack. It doesn't get like goopy or stringy. It allows you to do these tiny, tiny little droplets of the glue. Um, and so now I'm using my jewel picker. I'm picking up the tiny little ones and I'm putting them right in the seam between my two bigger pearls. This, you'll see when it's done, it makes such a huge difference. It instantly makes it look like finished and beautiful. So I'm basically applying 
them all along the bottom. Again, little dots of glue, pick your jewel picker, add your little ones, and then doing the same thing across the top on both. You can see how great it looks. I mean, I honestly could have stopped here. It looks beautiful, and the little pearls really make it feel finished. But I said I was gonna do fully encrusted, so I am going for it. Now, the next thing I did is I decided to use my medium size ones. So I put a long line of glue, and I'm now just adding in my medium sized pearls all along the edge. You wanna take your time to make sure that things are laying flat. You can use the end of your finger or your jewel picker, whatever you want. You've got some wiggle room as far as drying time, so make sure that you really take your time to adjust it. Now, this is what it looks like when I do the medium on the bottom and the top. Again, looks great. I could totally stop here, but I'm going to do the complete version uh, because that's what I said I was going to do. All right, so now I thought I would do the sole. The sole in the front of my particular shoe is much smaller than through the rest, so I had to do the tiny little ones all across the front, and then I could move on to the medium size as I work my way back, which you can see I'm doing now. So again, this is a step and repeat process. You just want to add a thin line of your glue, except for when you're doing the tiny ones. For that, you want the drops. Otherwise, a thin line of glue, have a bunch of the pearls that you're working with handy, just drop a ton of them on your work table and just pick them up with the jewel picker and go along as you go. Now, one thing I will say is right here, I'm balancing it on the toe, which made a couple of them move because uh, they weren't quite dry yet. This is something I originally planned on doing. I was like, oh, I'll do it all along the back. I hated it and I took them off like right away before it had time to dry. I tried to scrape off as much glue as I can. You'll see in the end, you do see it a little bit, but I just didn't like the way that line looked, so I got rid of it. Um, you know, what are you gonna do? Okay, so I'm moving on to my heel. Now, I wasn't sure exactly what my design was gonna be, except for the fact that I knew I wanted to use more of the larger pearls because it was the heel and I wanted it to feel like chunky and weighted. So I decided to do three rows of the larger pearls and I needed to use some mediums and smalls in the ends to kind of fill in the gaps where there wasn't quite enough room for a big one, but there was a visible gap. So in that place, I just added some medium size into those spaces. Now here I'm doing another row of the little tiny ones because again, I just think it makes such a huge difference. And then a row of my mediums to fill in going right up until that rubber part of my heel. You also wanna make sure to do the inside because you are gonna see that inside of your heel a lot more than you would originally think. I was kind of looking at it and assessing, do I keep going, do I stop? Ultimately, I decided to stop. The, sh the shoe on my left is my done one. The one on my right is that first step. Just to see, if you wanted to stop here, you could. This is the difference between the two. They both look great, but honestly, I do think the more simplistic version is better. I completed the strap, and again, this is what it would look like if I didn't do any of the heel or any of the sole, just for you guys to see how you want to do it. Now, I found these really cool sandals at the thrift store and I thought they would look really nice with just a few of the larger pearls, doing a more understated version. So because I'm using just the big ones here and they're being spaced out, you could just apply the gem tack directly to the back of your pearl and then lay them down. It's up to you. You can also put a larger drop of glue directly on the shoe, whatever you want. The larger ones move much faster, obviously, and you can see I'm spacing them out just like that. I worked all the way around following the natural shape of the shoe and then and I did the same thing on the bottom. They're really simple. I love the way the white pearls tie in with the strap on the back. They look great with everything from jeans and a t-shirt to a dress. They're awesome. Okay. The heel looks really cool, fully encrusted. It looks cool, but you know, sometimes you just don't go with your gut and you just keep going. <laughs> and I think I should have stopped. Whatever your inspo is, Use it as the inspo to get the project started and then throw it away. Do whatever is working best for the shoes that you have, um, but the glue is super strong. It dries completely clear. Um, you're not gonna see it, so you don't have to be so precious and precise with every little placement of drop of glue, which makes it great. Um, and yeah, I hope that you guys liked this one. If you did like it, subscribe if you aren't already subscribed and um, share it with a friend, perhaps. Maybe someone who's getting married. You could send them this. They could DIY their own beautiful wedding shoes. All right, guys, that's it. Thank you so so much for watching. I will see you next week, and I'm gonna go. Uh, I'm gonna go model. I'm just the way I am. Don't try to save me, cause I can't be saved. I keep falling under all this pressure, falling under ever since I met you. Uh, baby, I'm no good, but you know better, better. I got all these voices.